Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy, your undiapered car guy. And I'm wondering whether you can guess what this is. From the looks of it, you might think it's a Mazda CX-3 or maybe a Mazda CX-5. It's actually something in between. It's the new Mazda CX-30, uh, which represents yet another slicing up of the pie of the crossover SUV market. Mazda's thinking here uh, was to offer something that's not quite as small as the CX-3 and something that's not quite as pricey as the CX-5, but has the power that you can get in the CX-5 that you can't get in the CX-3. So basically, that's the story with this new small crossover. It's got a bit more leg room than you'd find in the CX-3, which is their smallest crossover. And it comes with the same basic standard engine that you get in the CX-5, which is Mazda's 2.5 liter engine that makes about 178 horsepower. Whereas in the CX-3, you get a smaller 2.0 liter engine that makes, oh, I think it's 148 horsepower. Forgive me if my numbers aren't exactly right. But at any rate, so that's the idea here. Uh, it gives you a little bit of this. A little less of that, a little more of this, and it starts around 21000 bucks. I personally am a big fan of Mazda small crossovers, even though I'm not a huge fan of crossovers generally, despite their being very utilitarian, and this brings me to why I'm a fan of Mazda's crossovers. They've got some looks, and they've got some fun-to-drive attributes that you generally don't find in a lot of other competitive crossovers. Um, they do a really nice job with the styling of these cars. Those of you who like Mazda sedans, especially the Mazda 6, will notice the familiarity. Uh, the front clip is very similar, very, very nice looking long nose treatment. Um, and also, let's have a look at the inside, and it gives you an idea, uh, as a general thing too, how far we've come in a relatively short period of time, because this is not a particularly expensive car. Again, it starts just over $21,000. And if you went back to circa 2000 or so, uh, I know it's almost 20 years ago, I've been doing this a long time, but for me it's like it's, it was just yesterday. To see an interior like this with this beautiful form-fitted dashboard, and you've got this LCD screen that pops up out of the dash, and this nice driver-oriented cockpit, etc., etc., really nice material too. You would think that you're looking at something luxury branded and something that probably costs fifty or sixty thousand bucks. This is a twenty-one thousand dollar car. It's a notch above an entry-level car. Gives you an idea about the fact that you do not have to spend a fortune uh, to drive a very nice, very well-equipped car. Um, usual stuff applies with these crossovers. The chief virtue here is uh, that you've got this massive cargo space in the back. Let's pop this open and see for the relatively small footprint of the vehicle. If you compared this to something that's about as long as it is, that's a sedan, and compared its trunk space, which would probably be about 13 cubic feet versus the roughly 50 cubic feet that you get here, um, and it's not just the number, it's, it's the fact that in a pinch you can extend that number by running things up to uh, the, f the first row which I've done. For example, you can, you can insert two by fours and get them in there all the way and close the gate, which is a pretty remarkable thing. Anyway, I will have some more details about this thing up at epautos.com shortly, the web's best libertarian gearhead site. Uh, and also, as we deal with all of the weirdness that's going on right now, uh, a place where you can go to read diaper reports, uh, because I've become a big-time diaper dissenter, and I'm trying to dispel some of the sickness psychosis that's turned the entire country into a lunatic asylum, with the exception of a few people. But remember what Orwell said about sanity not being statistical. Anyway, uh, thanks as always for watching the vids and reading the rants and supporting the site, and we will catch up with you again soon.